So I've already done um, a video on the wall decals that I have that I'm going to be putting in my store. And I did a video explaining, you know, what I was planning on doing. But I'm just going to recap really quick. Um, I was planning on, way before I had my channel, to do a store outside of YouTube, you know, because I didn't even have a channel. Because I needed to get rid of some stuff, right? And I had uh, these wall decals, jewelry, uh, you know, stuff for over seven years. And they're all brand new. And what I'm going to show today, I already did the wall decals. What I'm going to show today is these purses. I've had most of these for over eight years. I've came across some more as time, you know, time went on. My sister likes to pick up a lot of these purses. Most of them are designer. Um, I've picked up some as well along the way. And um, the stores that I'm looking into, you know, like I said, eBay, I don't even know if I just said it. I have no clue. Um, I do leave, lose my train of thought uh, often. Um, eBay, uh, Poshmark, and I'm not sure what else because I'm looking into the different fees. But um, anyways, um, I am going to put my link on my channel. But what I'm going to be doing, because um, I'm going to do this outside of YouTube, right? Anyways, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm putting aside a percentage, and I haven't came up with the percentage yet, of all my sales to go towards this community. And when I say this community, because I've said it before, I don't have a community, right? So this community is this whole drama circle, okay? Um, if there is somebody in need, and when I came up with that idea is because so many people have others go in real life on them and that is something I am so totally against and I've said it in so many videos it, it that's a big trigger for me it really is and if they need to go legal on somebody and you know creators they do you know when they are able to be monetized they get those super chats and you know they get memberships and stuff like that but, you know, they, they are trying to, when they have their channel, they are trying to make a living, you know, pay their bills, put food on the table. So if someone is going real live on them and they have to go legal, that takes a lot of money. And so it's a way for me to give back to my subs, right? Since I don't have a community, it, it, it's just a way to give back. So I thought that was really important, you know, to me because I'm seeing a lot of it and yes you know they can drop a, a fund you know um, to do these kind of things but you know times are hard it is and if uh, their community is already donating you know for you know super chats or uh, memberships and stuff it might be a struggle for them um, and it might be a struggle for them to you know even purchase an item or something but I again I'm doing this outside of YouTube as well so you know I'll have traffic I'll have my own friends and family you know that I have on Facebook and you know just my own friends and family um, but I'm also gonna have traffic you know off of my own advertising on you know eBay Facebook or not Facebook I'm sorry Poshmark wherever else I decide uh, to do my store because I'm also going to have a clothing line as well and I'm also you know in this community I, I said it before you will see sometimes there's a need there's something happens you know it, it happens in life um, there'll be a need with a creator or you know maybe even a sub um, that there's a crisis and they might need help 
And so funds will be there for that as long as it's legit, you know, it's got to be legit and there'll absolutely be transparency. So I said before, even if I didn't put my, my link, um, to my stores or whatever, uh, I was still going to put a percentage back for this drama circle, um, or this drama community circle or whatever, right? So, uh, you know, that's just something that I'm going to do no matter what, no matter what anybody says, you know, if it's stupid or whatever, I have nothing to gain from it. Okay. Nothing to gain. Um, I will be taking care of the taxes on that. However, you know, my, when I talk to my accountant, however, um, I have to do that because, you know, if I, when I get the store going and all that good stuff, I have to pay taxes anyways. Right. So that way, whoever gets the donation or whatever, they don't, they're already struggling. Right. Or if someone's going legal and they have to get an attorney, um, it's going to be hard enough. That's why, you know, they need the donation for that. So I will take care of the taxes. So anyways, also, um, I said that I am, once I go live, I want to do some game nights, uh, just to kind of get away from some of the, you know, drama. Sometimes you have to get away from it, you know, unplug from it just for your own mental health or just, you know, to have some fun and everybody's welcome. Like I said, I don't have a community here. I have people from everybody else's community that comes in here. And um, some people might not even belong to a community. So for my subs, people that listen to me, uh, even though I haven't went live yet, all my videos are pre-recorded, um, I'm going to have giveaways. And so some of the stuff that you see, uh, you know, the wall decals, I've already shown some of them. Um, some of these purses, um, I'm going to have as giveaways. A lot of the jewelry, because I have a ton of those, okay, and I also said that uh, I like going to estate sales and sales and picking up vintage items. Uh, my sister and I love going shopping, doing that. And some of the things I'm picking up aren't vintage either. They're just, you know, kind of cool items. Uh, they'll be in my store as well. And I'm going to do some of those as giveaways too. Um, the only thing, and I've said this before too, the only thing that will not be in my store will be makeup. Um, that won't happen. The only time that I'm going to be doing any type of makeup is like giveaways, right? On a giveaway night. Uh, and I'll be doing lots of giveaways. So uh, I might have like a basket with like uh, makeup in it, maybe some Victoria's Secret lotions or body bath, uh, bath and body work stuff. Um, those will be for giveaways only. That's the only time I will deal with makeup. But yes, yeah, some of the purses will be giveaways. Uh, uh, lots of jewelry will be giveaways. Uh, some of the wall decals. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to recap on that, okay? Now, I already said, um, I think how I acquired a lot of these purses. And I'm only showing a small fraction of what I have. And you'll understand why I finally... I have to do something uh, to, to get rid of these because I don't carry these purses. None of them have I ever carried. They have been in a big, large tote and they, you know, it's time for them to go. And what better way to, you know, do it now? I already stated that I downsized uh, when I bought this place and I'm going through things and you know, it's about time. So, um, and I will, my sister still picks up purses here and there. Um, I might pick up some here and there just because I think they're cute. I like them. And if I think they'll go good in my store, then, you know, I'll pick them up. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started and just show a few. And I have to say that a lot of them are coach purses. Okay. Cause my sister is a coach fanatic she picks up a lot of coach and in this tote that i had there was a ton of coach purses 
Now, I got rid of a lot. There was a lot of Louis Vuitton, a lot of Chanel. I got rid of most of those. Now, all of these uh, coach purses, um, all the designer bags, except for one, they're all uh, authentic, every one of them. Uh, the one Louis Vuitton, I don't know. I have no idea that, that I'm going to show. I don't think it's uh, real. I don't. Um, just from the feel of it, uh, I don't think it's a real Louis. Um, some of the ones that I got rid of like a long time ago, uh, those were, um, it's just, I don't know, I don't carry them. So anyways, we're just going to get started and I'm just going to show you a few. And like I said, these are just a few that I have. So that's why, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm going to do some giveaways on some of these purses when we have game night. So I think it'll be fun. It'll be a change. So anyways, we're going to dig right in. Um, this is the first one that I'm going to show. And it's just, um, probably got out of the camera there. It's just a black coach and they are a little dusty. I'm going to, um, put this out right now. Yeah, it's a little dusty, um, that I'm going to be cleaning all these. I do know how to clean purses, um, because they've been sitting. So, you know, that's what happens. But this one, I guess it's a, what you call a crossbody and, or it can be carried, you know, whatever. So I'm not the best when it comes to doing videos like this. So just kind of, just kind of showing you and you can see some, some dust up there, but it'll, it'll come right off. No biggie. Like I said, I just pulled these right out of the tote. These ones literally have been sitting for eight years plus so well let me take that back most of them not all of them so there's that one and then we have this coach and I I think they called this like a hobo style hobo style coach I will look up all the names on it they they have the serial number in them so it's easy to look up as you can see it's easy to look up that number um, a good way to tell coach I'm just I'm just gonna put this out there for people just uh, a couple of things about the coach purses if you want to authenticate a coach purse um, if it these are the signatures okay and I know this one's a hobo but if it has the signature um, with the the C's on the outside then it will never have the C's on the inside okay that's what they say and then if you look up the number here right it should pull up this purse it might pull up a different color um, because this is like the style right so it should, um, a lot of times if I look it up or something, it'll pull up the same color, but it might pull up like the same style and it'll tell you, cause this one I know is a hobo. They call it a hobo signature, but it might pull up a different color, but it should pull up that same style when you look up that number. So that'll just let you know that it is authentic. So there's that one. And then we have this one. It's a good size one. And it's puffed up. I have a couple of the, the dust uh, bags in there. So it's a good size coach. And then we have this one. It's a small, this one's navy. I'm, I don't think you can see that color. I also have a black one. And these are vintage. There's no um, numbers on it on the outside or numbers. There's no uh, signature, you know, there's no CCs. It's just leather. But on the inside, you have your numbers. 
And these are your vintage ones. But I do have a black one that's almost identical to this. And then we have a Vera Bradley. Now, I have some here. This one to me is like, eh. Okay, I had a ton of Vera Bradley. And my daughter, when she came to visit, she took all the cool ones. <laughs> she, she uses them a lot um, just to throw stuff in. So uh, she kind of went through and grabbed all the like bright colored ones. But I used to have a lot of the Vera Bradley uh, purses. But I still have quite a few of those left too. So there's that one. And then you have this one. And it's not a designer purse. It's just kind of cool you know just an everyday you know match your outfit I guess it's leather and then it's got um, I don't know kind of like a, a snake skin alligator skin I don't know but it's kind of a soft leather here so just an everyday purse not, uh, you know, anything major. And then you have this Simply Vera wing. I think that's how you say it. And I just think this is gorgeous. The colors. Um, it is kind of shiny. And I don't know. It's just if it's your taste or not. It's got, you know, bunched up right there. And then you got your chains. I don't know. I, I like it. Kind of go with any outfit. If you got purple, blue, or white, or black. I don't know. But I think that's kind of cute. So here you got your Louis Vuitton, um, I'm saying fake, and I don't know, I just, Louis Vuitton I just think is ugly, I just don't know why. Now the ones that I got rid of, they were the colorful Louis Vuitton, and I like them. Now my sister has one that I am trying to get a hold of, she just won't up it. But it's got the Louis Vuitton and it's got cherries on it. And I like it. For some reason, I like that one. Um, it's got these, this color, but it's got cherries. I don't know. It's, it's cute. I like it. So I'm going to have to work on her with that one. But yeah, I'm saying this one is fake. Um, I don't know, though. That's the thing. I haven't got it authenticated. So who knows? But I'm saying it's fake. That's just my guess. So, I don't know if you can see it. I mean, this feels okay, but the straps don't to me. Oh, and just putting it out there, um, you cannot sell a fake purse. You can't do it. So, if it's not... Um, if it's not real, if it's not authenticated, anybody out there... Uh, you know, that puts purses up for sale. Um, I'm not sure about the marketplace, but if you have any type of store, eBay, you really got to watch it. Uh, make sure it's real. Like that Louis, that won't go up for sale um, because I'm not going to get it authenticated. I don't know much about Louis Vuitton. Um, the other ones that I got rid of, um, I knew that they were real, um, but that one, I, I have no idea, so no, it will not uh, go up for sale, and the ones that I did get rid of, I didn't sell them anyway, so um, actually, they went to my other sister, so <laughs> anyways, um, and 
they were used they weren't in you know great condition so it wasn't uh they came in that tote that estate sale so they weren't you know anything to put up for sale they weren't in the greatest condition but i love the colors because they were different colors um and i'm not a louis vuitton expert i'm not really a purse expert i know a lot about coaches uh just because they're pretty easy to spot if they're fake or not just by like i said the serial number um that's on it you, you can type that in and uh, get a lot of info and then of course I know about uh, the signature of the signatures you know the C's are on the outside then the norm is they wouldn't be on the inside okay so here's another coach and this is I don't know if this is vintage or not but it is a nice um, I'm thinking maybe it is but it's a heavy, like, white leather. So, with a little pocket back there. Hopefully you can see it good. So there's that one. You don't have the C's back there, so you really can't tell that it's a coach. Coach purse, right? Just looks like your everyday coach. Or everyday purse, I'm sorry. But it is... It's your coach. And then we have this Michael Kors, and it's brand new. This got kind of ripped a little bit. And my sister picked this up. And she didn't want it, and she just gave it to me. <laughs> so, um, it's new, and it is real. And I thought it was, she thought it was a wallet. And I thought it was a wallet to begin with, too, but it's not. It's actually a small little uh, small little coin purse, change purse. This is a long little, well, not real long, but clutch purse, maybe they call it. I don't know. But it is brand new. So, and I do have a couple of uh, Michael Kors purses, too. I did use one. I carried it around for a little bit. It's actually one that I liked. And then I took everything out and put all my stuff in just a regular everyday bag. I liked it better. So um, so there's that one. Uh, so I do have a couple of Michael Kors purses. I'm, I'm not showing them. Uh, I didn't get them out to show. But um, they'll be in the store or maybe be a giveaway. I don't know. This might be a giveaway too. Don't know. So this isn't, um, you know, designer purse or anything like that, but I just thought it was cute. Um, everybody has a different taste. Um, you know, like I said, I never uh, carried it or anything, but yeah, it's just got a lot of different, um, you know, flowers or whatever on there. So I might say, oh, it's a granny purse, but <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was cute. So you got a lot of room in there, a lot of different, you know, just depends on what your taste is. Everybody has a different taste. So there's that one. You just got, you know, different flowers on there. And it's leather. It's like a soft leather. And then we have this small little coach and I have a couple of small ones I'm just not showing all of them got that little pocket in the back and your tag so there's that one And another Vera Bradley. Um, not really too keen on the colors of this one at all. But that's just me. I had some really bright blue, blue and white ones. Those are the ones my daughter snagged. But there's that one.
And we have another coach. This is a colorful one. It's like a, I don't know, barrel. <laughs> I'll know the names of these. I'll, I'll have to look them up again. But yeah, it's just kind of colorful. So you got a pocket there and a pocket there. So there's that one. Then you have a Victoria's Secret pink. And these are brand new. I am just a little tote. I have a couple of different ones of the Victoria's Secret uh, pink um, totes, purses. This is the smaller of the ones that I have. So I'm just kind of showing one. And these are new. So, here's another coach. Um, oh, this is like the patchwork design. So, like I said, I'll know the names of them. So, there's that one. It's a good size, maybe medium size. If I'm sounding loud, I'm right up uh, against the speaker here. Okay, and here's another one. You got your your pink and your brown. It's got a lot of different compartments in this one. And I have a couple of other ones that's got pink and brown, the coach purses, so... So there's that one. I think I have one that's, if I'm not mistaken, that's all pink. I'm not sure. I'll have to look with the signatures. So, so there's that one. Here's another Vera Bradley. Just kind of not another fan of that color. But again, you know. <laughs> Depends on your taste. So. See how long the strap. I mean the strap is adjustable. So. I do have to say on this pink one. I forgot to show it. It did have a wallet with it too. So. Forgot to show that one. But then we have this um, small Dunium Berkey, if I'm saying that right. I do have a couple different ones of that brand. Dooney and Berkey. So, it's kind of colorful. It's just a small purse. Trying to get in the eye of the camera here. Then you have this one. It's just your everyday. No. I don't even know what brand it is. Madison West. I don't know. So. It is leather. Carry it like that, or you got this long butt chain. So, just your everyday purse. Then you have this coach. Um, it's pretty large, and it is the poppy. And it says right on there, poppy. And it might not be everybody's cup of tea because, you know, it is colorful, it's purple, but I don't know, I kind of like the colorful ones. But it is a large, pretty good sized purse. And you got your leather up here and then it's canvas down here. So I don't know if you can see the colors in there. It's pretty big. It's 
So there's that one. And then you have your your black and tan smaller coach. It's kind of like, I don't know, like I said, I'll know the the names once I look them up again, but like I said, it's it's kind of your smaller one. And yes, I did not store them correctly. You know, you would put what tissue paper in these. I do have a in my one spare bedroom. I do have a big shelf that I could put these on. Well, they wouldn't hold all the purses, but I could put them on um, if they were, you know, a higher brand or more expensive brand, I guess. Like if it was like Louis Vuitton, you know, real Louis Vuitton, if that one was a real Louis Vuitton or whatever, um, that's how I would store them and put that tissue paper in there to hold the shape. But anyways, so then you have a, a crossbody, and this one was new. Um, it has never been worn before, used before. Um, so it's not that big. It's just a, you know, a crossbody. Very small. Don't know what you could put in there. Your cell phone, maybe. Maybe a little bit of money if you're just, uh, you know, going out. That's about it. That's about all you could get in there, I guess. So, there's your number. Oh, that's kind of magnetic. So, there's that one. And this is just, again, your everyday purse. Don't even, there's a name on it. Um, you know, not a high-end brand or whatever, but there's a ton of room in there. Oh. And it looks like it's never been used didn't even know this was in there so you can carry it like that or put the strap on there the straps not even been opened yet so um, and it's leather feels like soft leather and then this is feels like harder leather up here and then soft leather down there so it's like two different Two different kinds, but so there's that one. Put that back in there. And here's another uh, Simply Vera Wag. I guess that's what you call it. So if you can see that, it's kind of like a, a real soft, I don't know, like snake skin type type of deal going on there or the look of it I don't know what you can see I'm just kind of holding it out so and then you have this one it's got some pink kind of like that other one or a little bit darker, darker pink, and the browns. So you got a big area up here. And again, it doesn't hold its shape because I don't have anything in there to hold its shape, but there's plenty of room in there. It's a good size, good size purse. So there's that one. Got 
I said, I don't know what you can see. And this one is a Vera, a Vera Bradley. It's just a plain black with no design on it. So it's kind of different. You got a little pocket over here. It's kind of like the hobo style. Now you got two pockets on either side. So there's that one. And then you have this one. It, um, the colorful coach, and it's got um, like a canvas, and this one's got a card, and you got a wallet with it too. So kind of silver and purple. Kind of like a bucket, bucket type of purse, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, I'll know all the names of them. And then we have this. It's just a, I guess, no name. Uh, just a carry every day. Um, don't know if that's real leather or not. I just think it's kind of cute with all the butterflies. It's kind of bright. You know, kind of. I don't know. Springish. <laughs> um, and you got two zippers over here. There's plenty of room in there. Well, I'm not going to open it up, but. And then you got two pockets over here. It's kind of bright with a bunch of butterflies. So you got that one. And then you have your traditional brown coach. It's kind of medium size. Ah, turn around. Your coach. I have a lot, a lot of just your typical brown ones. This one's already opened up, so yeah. There's your number. And of course, you know, it's solid color inside because you have the signature on the outside yeah I have a lot of your typical brown ones so there's that one and I'm just gonna show one more I have so many of these um, as you can see this is why I needed to do what I needed to do there's no reason to have all these. There really isn't. Um, so I'm just going to show this last one. And this one is your gray. It's signature. Um, you can carry it just like this. Or you can carry it like that and take this off, I guess. Don't know what you can see and what you can't. I hope you can see it all. Um, and this one also comes with the wallet, matching wallet. Hopefully you can see. So, so there's that one. It's kind of cool. You can take that off if you want, because that, that is kind of long. I don't know. So I'm done showing purses for now. Um, like I said, I could be here forever showing purses. So I just, I grabbed a few to show. And like I said, um, I will be doing, all of these are going to be cleaned. They've been sitting, the majority of them have been sitting. Uh, like I said, my sister's brought some over. I've picked up a few along the way. I still have a ton I have not shown. Um, so I will be, you know, doing a clean on all of them because they have been sitting or they have came, you know, 
out of homes. Um, I do have uh, animals as well. Some people are allergic to animals, so you have to take that into consideration too, right? So um, I will be doing the cleaning on these, and once I uh, clean them, they will be uh, packaged. Well, I'd have to take. I got to take pictures of the inside. That's another thing when you're putting anything on uh, a store site or whatever, you have to make sure you take good pictures. Um, if there's any flaws, uh, you know, any marks that you see that you can't get out, uh, because on these purses, if there's like um, a mark or something like that, um, I know how to get them off of purses, uh, but sometimes you just can't. Uh, and if you can't, you got to make sure you disclose that. Some people still want them, some people don't. Um, so you have to disclose that, hey, you know, there's a mark. Because, ladies, we know we get marks in our purses, right? Pin marks in our purses or maybe a scratch on the outside or whatever. But you have to disclose that. Um, if they're too bad, you know, you're just not going to sell them. But somebody might want something, you know, as a giveaway or they might not, you know, they might want a perfect purse as a giveaway too. So, you know, that's just something you got to disclose. Uh, and some people, like I said, are allergic to pets and they don't want a purse that might have the dandruff because that's what people are allergic to is the animal dandruff. So after these are cleaned, I am going to be, um, and all the pictures are taken, that need to be taken of the inside outside any uh, blemishes any you know any of that good stuff then they're going to be uh, packaged up uh, really good so that and put in an area where there are no pets so that um, I don't have to redo it okay so I am going to go ahead and end this video because yeah I gotta got some stuff to do but I just kind of wanted to show you some of the purses um, that are going to be uh, in the store. There's going to be a lot more, and also some are going to be giveaways. So, um, you know, when I do game nights, or maybe even when I don't give game or do game nights, just to my subs, just because. Um, there's a lot of toxic stuff going on, so why not give back okay um i don't know if it make anybody smile then why not uh if it makes somebody's day you know um my next video when i when i talk about my store or giveaways we're gonna go over the jewelry and trust me i have so much of it it's all new jewelry um, I might do that in two parts. I might do that in two videos because there's so much. And of course, I'm not going to be showing it all because just like with the purses, I have a lot more jewelry than the purses and, and the wall decals and stuff. I mean, a ton of it. Um, and there will be a lot more giveaways with the jewelry. Um, but I might do that in two parts. But that will be the next video uh, when I talk about my store. Not, not my next video that I might do. But when I talk about my store and about funds for this community, this circle, right? Um, but, uh, and then the one after that uh, will probably be about um, some of the other items that I've picked up along the way um, that will be in my store, like vintage items, or they might not even be vintage. They might just be some items that are going to be in my store. But a lot of them will be some, you know, vintage items. We'll just, we'll see. And I don't know if I'm going to show any um, clothing items or not. Um, I'm going to have a lot of, like, workout items, a lot of name brand items. Um, they'll be um, also in my store. they will be kid items. Um, you know, like, uh, you know, especially around uh, Christmas time. Um, you know, what is popular, uh, you know, I have like right now a lot of the LOL dolls, um, a lot of, uh, you know, stuff like that. So we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go. Everyone have a great day and we'll just see you again.